Doug Hoffman is, is very difficult to describe in a single word. What can I say about Doug? How would I explain Doug Hoffman? Doug. I could think of a hundred words to describe Doug. Integrity. Selfless. Generous. Thoughtful. Friend. When I think of Doug Hoffman, I think of a man of integrity. I think of a man who uh, is selfless, uh, somebody who thinks about others more than himself. I'm the second of nine children. Uh, my dad had a huge influence in my life in the aspect of learning how to work. Growing up on, on the farm, I could see the, the roots uh, and, and the good sound values that come from farming. First, when I left, went off to school, I thought, okay, I'm gonna be a CPA and I'm gonna be a, uh, get into the auditing world, you know, and travel the world and do all that stuff. And then I got in this class called auditing. No. I really wanted, knew then I wanted to be out there in the production, I wanted to be around people, and there's nothing better than real people in agriculture. My first impression was, of Doug was that he was very hardworking and passionate about his role as a CEO at Wilco Farmers. And Wilco, under Doug's leadership, has done a phenomenal job, I think, of pointing out the different areas within the community that Wilco can have an effect, be it through uh, Oregonians for Food and Shelter or uh, Farmers Ending Hunger Program, FFA, the youth of our uh, communities. He's done a good job of sticking Wilco's name out there in the name of good nonprofit causes. So I've known Doug for about five years, and in those five years, Doug has um, stood out to me as a very generous, kind, caring, um, involved um, leader of our community. Doug has got a passion for the land and the people that work it and the people involved in it. And uh, since he does, he's, he's taken that not only at the local level, but he's went out to the international level. His expertise within the co-op industry and agriculture as well, he's taken that expertise to these countries and, and tried to better the people of those countries and their lifestyle and uh, how they can survive in these these difficult times. As we travel to Kenya, uh, we, we have established a school uh, there, and this school is really about teaching the student how to uh, raise different crops, how to approach it a little bit differently and, and their culture. Uh, it's about them teaching it, going back out to the community, and they teach their community on what's going on. So one person teaches the rest of them. Doug has been an inspiration for a number of people, and the people that go to Kenya come back changed. So Doug connects farmers in Oregon to farmers in Kenya. For Doug, it's about generosity and love and compassion and he, in sharing what he loves to do. And I think that that shows in all of his outreach, um, whether it's helping us personally on our farm um, or whether it's helping farmers in Kenya. And um, you can't get better than that. I think that it is very fitting that Doug Hoffman is receiving this award. I, I can't think of a better person that more exemplifies what it's all about, and, and a giving back to the ag community, a community as, as a whole, here locally, internationally, and uh, within the company itself. I'm extremely humbled by getting this award. Uh, when Jeff called me, I go, really? That tears in my eyes, kind of tears there right now. Um, because that's not why I do this stuff. It's, that's not why I, I am passionate about ag. That's not why I do the travel that I do and, and uh, uh, make a difference with people. It's because I really believe in it. It is what I want to do. I would thank Doug for his, his contributions, just not financially, but also morally and ethically to the organizations and the service that he gives. And not just believing in the future of agriculture, but also believing in the future of the youth in our country. I would thank Doug for the opportunity he gave me to go to Kenya. It's changed my life. I'd just like to, I'd like to say that I'm honored to, to know Doug and, and to be Doug's friend. And it's more than just business. It's more than just work stuff. It's, it's truly, I'm honored to be his friend. That simple. I'd like to thank Doug for the integrity that he has brought with him when he took over the CEO job at Wilco. Not to be saying that the CEOs we had in the past were not excellent individuals, 
But I think since Doug has taken the position, he's done an unbelievable job of taking his ethics, his moral character, his integrity, and distributing it within the company, and it's a reflection upon all the individuals that work for the company from the top all the way down. The board sees that, I think the membership sees that, and I think the, the, the community at large uh, in Northwest Oregon and Washington see that.